Dude, don't even worry about it. Don't um, I don't hear the feel for my voice. Or... Yeah? You sure? Yeah. Alright. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. so we just got done with the Capitol, it dissipated really quick, the crowd, you know, it was really interesting. Um, I don't think it's ever happened. Like, I don't think that's ever happened, what we saw today, what we witnessed today. Maybe not. Um, the CHP became SWAT. They became SWAT team. And they just started flooding the Capitol and pushed us all out. Arrested, had it been 20 people. Um, this one lady, I didn't even know she got arrested, but she got a citation. She ended up signing it and she's hearing that it could be like 500 bucks. Um, guy with his little cubicle costume. You remember that guy? You see that guy? It's like six feet apart. I didn't see that, but I'm sure. You, you, you never saw the costume? Okay, well, it's like he made it out of PVC. It's like a cage. Okay. It's like a little prison kind of thing. Anyways, um, they ripped that off of him. No he, way. Oh, yeah. The police did? Yeah. How did they get that close to him? Was he right up to the front? Yeah, well, he was up to the wall. The guys, okay. they, the CSP. And they reached over and ripped it off? No, they didn't reach over. They grabbed the top of it and basically yanked on it, pulled on him. And I got that on footage. And, wow. uh, yeah, and, and can I see it? Any yeah, chance? yeah, yeah. I could, I That's could replay crazy, it. I, I think I got it on this one. I had to. Yeah. Okay. So I had to take a stop and recharge my batteries because the, this GoPro battery drains pretty quick. But yeah, I'll try to replay that one. Um, yeah, it was just such a mess. Uh, that was chaos. And and I got a some footage on the guy's citation. Last one. Um, younger kid he's 19 but anyways um they're putting health hazard on there like that's like that was the reason why they arrested him and he was just not moving and so i mean i was right there they're they're ready to arrest me it was crazy yeah you were right up there yeah so if i if i you know it was it wasn't worth it you know especially when they're going to try to push you for 500 bucks i don't live close to sacramento to make this trip this mm -hmm. commute and yeah, it's a lot of money. But it's a fact of the matter, you know, that society is just crashing and and we're going to look like the bad guys right now. We're going to look like the media is going to portray us like we're, yeah, they'll spin it. we're criminals, you know, when the, the CHP were, you know, next, you know, shoulder to shoulder, not wearing a mask, abusing their authority. They won't talk. They won't answer any questions. And just people are so mad. There's so many different backgrounds there today. There's so many different movements. Uh -huh. um, and then we even had some people trying to pull the race card, which was like, really? Yeah. You know, and uh, saying that it's only rich white people that are here if you look at the mass. And I was just like, first of all, yeah, I'm white. But I'm, I am not. I'm nowhere close to being rich. And that's besides the point. Um, yeah, we're all in this together. It's not about race. <sighs> yeah, I mean, we, we saw... And we even saw people wearing masks in the crowd. So, I mean, there's still that fear that people have. Well, the police weren't social distancing either. Right. So they're hypocrites once again. Mm-hmm. That was funny because I called them out a few times and it looked like they're trying to, you know, distance a little bit. I don't know if you noticed that. But they started kind of gapping out a little bit and then they closed back in. I was just Towards like. Towards you? No, no, from each other. Instead of being like oh, shoulder to right, shoulder, right, yeah, yeah. they started. I noticed that too. You did, yeah. yeah. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" It was crazy because I started calling them on it, and then the, and it seems like they started social distancing. Yeah. And I was like, "What, dude?" Like, but they couldn't do anything without the face mask. They couldn't because there's like maybe a handful of them in front of us that had, and it's just row upon row upon row. Mm -hmm. I was like, "What's the point in this?" They just want us to get off the side. They knew what they were doing because obviously it worked. You know how quick that crowd dissipated? Like it just dispersed mm -hmm. i was just like whoa it's like repellent you know like a yeah. like a protest uh repellent and there but there were the good thing is there were, at the very end when they pushed us off to the side of the street there was that barrier where there was those bushes and the, mm -hmm. the bars that were blocking them i found that comical because at that point they couldn't play to toy soldier anymore they couldn't those barriers were keeping them from from going across those barriers which i found ironic yeah so at least we, we got to stay there and stay there and talk some more shit and fucking try to knock some sense of them like I, I would go in between anger and reasoning bargaining all the emotions and I, at some point i was just trying to like see if i could change their subconscious in some sort of way 
Um, I'm, not, I'm sure who knows how effective it was, but but I did hear a couple of police officers say that they were with us. So that was that. I mean, I know I'm not saying you know, no. Yeah, you know, and that's that's the thing. Like, there's a lot of people. Even the guy who was trying to sell Trump hats. I don't know if you caught that guy. His little cowboy hat. Uh, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? Going to a this kind of rally and you're just trying to make money whatever mm -hmm. i just thought that was ridiculous he's trying to profit off yeah of that. off of this it's like you know I, i'm not surprised but it was this just isn't annoying. about trump this is about civil liberties. right this yeah. is about having rights but, but yeah so back to the you know there's a bunch of people trying to say oh they're just doing their job they're just doing their job but you know what you're not you're not forced to First of all, you're just you're, you're going against what the Constitution you're supposed to be standing for. Right? You're going against what the Constitution says. You're going against. I mean, this is not what you signed up for. They took an oath to the people, not to the exactly. sheriff, not to the governor or the mayor or the health agency. They took an oath, and they're not to the public, American people, and they're not. They're, they're not, not public looking. servants. They're not serving us. Yeah, the and people. they're not supporting our cause. So, you know. To have sympathy for the guy in the uniform. I'm not saying I have sympathy for him. All I'm saying is that at least there's a few who see it from our perspective and they're stuck in the position where they have to be there. Because they got jobs too, you know? I well, mean, they got families to feed too. I, I understand all that and I just really hope that they reflect on this because like I was telling yeah. you earlier, when I was in the military, you have people that will shoot to kill civilians, their own people, if they're ordered to. I was asking this to soldiers, okay? So this is the mindset. They're so programmed and conditioned that to, to kill if they need to. That's their job, mm. right? I mean, they're they're coming at us in yeah. full uniform like they're like we're some kind of SWAT operation. We're not the enemy. No, we're not. And and we were there peacefully and they come all suited up, making it so dramatic, trying to get that fear mm -hmm. more grounded into our consciousness right. and and have that reaction and Sure enough, it worked, but I really hope that the people that are sitting in their rooms right now are seeing this and, and getting the courage built up to make a stand and do something about this and don't take that vaccine. Just really yeah. think about the agenda here. Did you see people coughing out their brains? Did you see the cops abiding by their own uh, protocols, their own orders? No. Like, get out of here, man. This hypocrites. Is, exactly. Complete fucking hypocrites. Yeah, I mean, we... we <sighs> There, there's a lot of people there today, though, um, and that was that surprised me. I didn't think it was gonna be that big. Like two thousand? Well, I, I don't know what the count was, but yeah, there's thousands. There's no doubt. My, <laughs> there's at least a few thousand there. Yeah. Um, there were kids, and uh, like I said, there's a bunch of backgrounds. So um, at some point, the people need to unite, though, yeah. and, and whatever they they need to unite as people. You know, first of all, that that's what it comes down to. Whether we have differences in the movements, vaccines, if you're pro-vax, anti-vax, whatever. But yeah. we need our civil, rights, mm -hmm. it's yeah. about our rights. We need civil disobedience. We can't, we should not comply with these laws. This is tyranny. Yeah. We should go about our days normally if we can. Although, you know, they've made it nearly impossible at this point. But, and it starts with small businesses. They need to reopen and they need to not comply. And But really where it starts with the sheriff. The sheriff needs to stop enforcing the laws. And um, in, so that's where that's where a big part of it is, is the sheriff. The sheriff, the mayor, and the governor. And um, the governor, to, or the sheriff took an oath to the people, not to the government, not to the governor, mm. not to the mayor. Yeah, and that's why we have sheriffs that are actually... Um uh, declining exactly the beach the mm -hmm. state parks and the beaches orders and uh, so I respect that 100% um, people got to go on their beaches like I mean they're We're they shut down here, dude. yeah and they're shutting down the playgrounds you know trying to go to a playground uh -huh. I was like are you kidding me they're gonna tape up can't sanitize the whole playground like get out of here yeah man they took all the so, hoops off every basketball court uh, yeah. filling up the skate parks with sand yeah there you go so what what brings the what brings me here to be involved in this is the ethics behind all this, the immorality that's, you know, this is all immoral. It's, it's tyranny uh, at its finest. And, and fascism. Right. And it's it's testing our response, our, the securities that that we're, we're willing, the freedom that we're willing to give up, right? 
um, for the, for the sake of the government security, but it's it doesn't look like that right now because what are we being offered here? You know, what what, what security are we? It, it, that's not even in question right now. What we just witnessed was an abuse of power. There was no security offered by the government. It's mm -hmm. completely immoral. I have God-given rights as a human being to be able to do what I want, to think right. what I want. If I want to wear a mask or not, if I want to go to nature, if I want to go anywhere in nature, I should have that option. I should be able to, don't don't close off these things. For, I, if I don't want to take a vaccine, don't mandate it. I will, if I want to, I'll take one. All right, we, we, we take risks every day of our lives. Right. Not every day is promised. And what gives them the right to tell us what we have, how we have to go about our daily lives based on some virus that is, we can't see and the death rate is 0.003% mm -hmm. in California. Can't they, trust the media, man. Did they you? have no argument, none. They can't stand, there's no nowhere to stand with them. They have no argument except all they can do is force us into submission. Right. And, and that's that's it. They have no, there's no legal, uh, ram, there's no legal ramifications or anything that they can justify to, to scare me into thinking that I need to give away my rights. Mm-hmm. And how convenient. Oh, it's an invisible virus. Just <laughs> the invisible enemy. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. like a bunch of fucking aliens jumped out of a spaceship <laughs> with a bunch of machine guns, dude. And we're we're at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, this is this is insanity. You people. know what the invisible enemy truly is? It's a pandemic of fear. Yep. And it's, it's working. Yeah. Uh, flatten the curve. It's called yeah, mass hysteria. That's what this is. This is mass hysteria. Fear-mongering by the media. Uh, decepting the data. Mm -hmm. um, most people who die have pre-existing conditions from Corona, and I doubt they even had Corona because they never were even tested for it. Right, and, and and I don't know if it was you that told me, but I spoke with somebody earlier that was saying, or maybe it was that the Asian guy with the funny shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you saw him, but the shirt was funny. Um, basically, this people that are dying are just automatically being um, told that they died from Corona. Right. It's like okay, what? How are they finding that out? Are they swabbing? You know, uh, are they doing the test, the swab test uh, to a dead body? Are they? You know, how are they finding out that this person truly had corona? Just a bit submit uh, suspicion, and that's not valid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you can't people... trust what the media is saying. I don't know what they, even they're gonna say tonight. So, so don't trust the media. I mean, I saw a lot of people that did not want to talk to the media, and and it was it was kind of entertaining to see the media really trying to fish for yeah. somebody to talk you know vice like, news was there who, vice news yeah. oh really yeah they vice. asked they asked me if i wanted an interview and i i t it was crazy dude i was i was all hell no because all you're gonna do is slander us and do a hit piece i was i'll never interview with you and Whoa. and then and the guy the dude this guy the cameraman we were all standing around him and he dude he had like fear in his eyes it was crazy dude he was like this he was intimidated by you yeah guys, he was huh? cowering in fear and he had this mask on and i was all why don't you take your mask off you coward <laughs> and 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 uh and then he just looked at me and then he and and everyone was all yeah he's scared look at the fear in his eyes and we asked him we're like are you scared and he was all yeah <laughs> yeah he's all yeah i'm scared and then he and then he said to the reporter he's all let's go and he ran off really her. yeah i swear dude i saw that dude i was sitting right wow. there i can i can attest that i saw that 100 percent. but why 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 was he scared like what was it that uh, dude, because we he, were peaceful. Like there was nothing well, that we were doing. I think he was scared because we saw through his. Because that's what that's what Vice News does. They fucking slander people and they fucking do hit pieces so, to make people look stupid and make and, right. and he spin was it. exposed. Yeah, he, he was, was exposed and he yeah. knew it. And fucking, uh, they get they spin oh. shit to make it look like this is about Trump and it has nothing to do with Trump or or this is a neo Nazi right wing right. fascism bullshit. But it's not. This is about our freedoms and standing up for our rights. That's all it is. And and, and you know, there's this lady that I spoke with. I've seen her a few times. She's a great lady. She she's she's been there with me before. And uh, but she was she was like. She she knows what to look for right now. You know who's being planted. She's like, I wonder if that person's been planted. Yeah, I wondered about that too. And I was like, you know what? I didn't even think about that yet. But I did. I it crossed my mind though mm -hmm. earlier, but I didn't come back to that again. It's like, who who's here? That's that's you oh, yeah. know being paid opposition. Totally, dude. A plant. And, yeah. yeah. I, I'm like at this point. I'm like that Trump that Trump hat seller guy, you know, it's like, who is this? Like that guy just got to me. I'm like, what are uh, you doing? You're just here to, to what about our freedom? And you're over here trying to, exactly. 
profits trying to sell those stupid Trump That's hats. what Trump would do, too. That's a, it's so Trumpian. That's why we're not, we don't support Trump. Although, you know, I'm glad he says liberate. But at the same time, he has, he's a, he hasn't liberated shit, so fuck him. Well, yeah, and I was, uh, you know, I don't know if I talked to you about this whole covert operation thing. You know, about what all this coronavirus is a uh, covert for a rescue mission for the child trafficking. Okay, it's well, it's all connected. Everything's well. All no, it's not just one thing. But go ahead. Yeah. So, so the the theory or the conspiracy, and I was telling them I don't believe it for a second, but it's that all this is uh, just kind of a disguise for doing this big operation of rescuing children from child trafficking. And that's what the whole comfort boat or the comfort ship and the um, mercy ship on each coast is supposed to be housing all these child victims of trafficking. And uh, 